Hello YouTube, Stephen Maker 173, welcome back to the Legend of Zelda Ocarina Time Master Quest. Last episode, we started off the Happy Mask Salesman and got a fair, got all the Deku Stick upgrades and started our way towards getting the Deku Seed upgrades. Uh, the Deku Nuts. And this episode, we are going to give this bunny hood to the guy who wants it, which this guy is right over there. He's a weird. He actually keeps on running, and you can only talk to him when he stops. Hey, listen! Which, I actually have a few detours along the way, because he actually runs past the locations I want to go, which is, one of them is right over here. This over here is actually the entrance to the Gerudo Desert. Or the Gerudo Valley. And we actually want to go here first, so even though the guy is right there, don't really know when he's gonna stop. That's the, actually, one of his stopping locations is right over here. I'll follow him actually then, so yeah, I can guess I can just cut to here. Oh my god, so lucky! I bet with those long ears I could hear voices of the spirits. Are these genuine rabbit ears from the animal of legend? I don't care, expensive, please tell it to me! Long time dream reunited with the wildlife, finally the actor stage is prompt has been reunited! It's a 50 rupee mask, but he paid a crazy amount of money for it. More money than you can count! Go back and sign the 50. Yep, as in he actually fills up your wallet to the limit. I recommend that you actually get the 500 rupee mask, uh, 500 rupee wallet first before get actually giving him those hoods. Give him the hood, yo. <laughs> okay then, we've got a few things to do over here. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's get rid of the knight. <coughs> yeah, those things are actually kind of annoying. We actually will want it to be nighttime in a minute, but we didn't really want them right now. Now, uh, put a bomb towards the center of that, blow up, and hold. And, whoops. Burning all the things. And there he is. Which I actually had the wrong thing uh, set up, so I gotta open and blah blah blah. Okay then, I do not believe there is anything of valuable left in here, so we're out of here. Yeah, that there will do that whenever you like near one of these holes like that, so that's how you can figure that out. Next, we are actually heading this way. And I want it to be nighttime. This might just be the final episode before of all the preparations, before we actually continue on with the main plot. If things go well enough, but I'm not 100% sure though. But, you know what? I could maybe make this the last one. Gerudo Valley. Now, the reason why it wants to be night is right there. Number 34. Now then, uh, set this right. Okay, what you want to do now is actually grab a cool girl! I believe it's over here. No. Actually, on the other side. We are going next for a piece of heart. I can. I really wish I could have both these screens open at simultaneously. <laughs> that would make this so much easier. Okay. There it is. In that box right there. Okay. I'm really hoping to do this quickly. 
That. Okay, quickly pick him up again. Grab this. Number 15. Quickly grab the cuckoo again. There we go. Now, we are going to be flying while hovering over here. Because if he actually manages to run off, you'll jump down, then you're going to be sent to Lake Hylia, which we actually do want to go to Lake Hylia next, after this. The Gerudo song. I'll let you listen to this. <laughs> Honestly, the Gerudo Desert song from Ocarina of Time is one of my favorites. I really like this music. It's funky! Yeah! Okay, we're actually starting- we're really on a roll for these. I keep switching this thing back and forth, and it takes me a moment to get in, but I'm getting a little faster with it. Okay, now next is Magic Bean. Just gonna show it to the world. Now put it in the dirt. I honestly never used this one, but I I put it in there anyway. <laughs> okay then. Next, if you actually go over here to the waterfall, jump behind it. There's no current here, so you'll be safe to go into the water. Climb the ladders. <laughs> And it's a piece of heart for number 16! Yeah! Okay then, we are now heading to Lake Hylia, which if you just, as long as you just keep going with this river, you'll be there. Do, 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 do. You know what, let's just listen to this music as we go along. Lake Hylia. Now then. We will actually be returning here one final time before we continue on with the plot. But, first things first, do this. For the bug! We actually have one more soft soil we could find, but... I'm going to be honest, I don't remember where it is. Okay, uh, hopefully nothing attacks me while I set this up to go for number 36. Boom. Okay then, so next, plant bean. Uh, hold on, I actually still need this thing open. Because... There are actually going to be two more gold sculptures to get. One is right here. Oh wait, I've already got the boomerang, so that's good. The number 37. Boom. Okay then, the next one that we can get here is right over there. You see those two pillars in the water over there? It's actually right over there. Okay, we gotta get there. Gotta get there fast! There it is, you can even see it now. Uh oh, it's becoming daytime! Hurry, Link! Hurry! You're gonna lose it! No! Number 38! Yes! Now, you see this? Remember it for later. Okay, i actually going to get to the entrance of the Lake Hylia over there, so how about I just speed this up? Okay, I think this will do for uh, 
the speed up. Okay, we are now heading over this way. I really wish I remember where that last soft soil spot is. There is one more we can do right now. As, as I've said in the, uh, I think two episodes ago? There's only, there is the final soft soil spot we can't do till much, much later in the game. So, yeah. We actually are going to want our bombs here, and I will also make sure you have at least 50 rupees. Whee! You can do this at any point after you get your bombs. Alright, you win, I'll sell you a... Uh... Okay, then 10 rupees. Okie dokie. That was actually a lot cheaper than I thought. Yay! <coughs> okay, um... Okay. <laughs> that was a random uh, noise for the tree. Okay, I need to quickly figure out where I'm going now. As I'm gonna be honest, I don't know. I know as well about the, the first dungeons. I've decided to not go back to them until after we're done with the first, uh, the, after the next dungeon we do, then I'm coming back to deal with the past dungeons, because in, I think, two of them, two of the past dungeons, you need the item from the next dungeon. So I figured I'd get them all done at once. So yeah, we're not going back to do the past dungeons just yet. Got that one. Alright, we're back here at the Happy Mask Shop. Yeah, very well done. All the masks are sold out. I knew I could trust you. As a reward, I will lend you this special mask. This is the Mask of Truth. It's mysterious mask passed down by the Sheikah. With this mask, you can see into other people's minds. It's useful, but scary. Why is it scary? You may find out as you grow older and wiser in the ways of the world. Ho ho ho! Okay, this was actually the mask that we were looking for for that last Deku Nut upgrade. So I will meet you back with those uh, little Deku Scrubs to get that upgrade. So... Mask ya! Okay, we are back here. We do this. Um, hello? All my young uh, Deku Scrub brothers say you have a horrible face! <laughs> what? I've never seen this before. But don't worry, we'll reward you with many Deku Nuts. Of course you'll be able to carry more of them. Abracadabra, I think it's um! Deku Nuts. That was hilarious. We they all agree you have a horrible face. <laughs> That is new to me. Okay, I'm gonna meet you guys over at Lake Hylia. Um, we're gonna go and see that scarecrow now. That was I said we was going to go and do so. Bit. Okay, then here we are at Lake Hylia. We had that cutscene there because. Our first times here, we didn't really take the front entrance, so we only just got it there and then. <laughs> and uh, one thing I should say, there's at the other soil, soft soil I said about, I remembered that we can't get it just yet. I am Mongoro, I'm Scarecrow, musical gen uh, genius, can never he hear a song, can never forget it. Not bad, I'll remember it anyway. Yeah, you might actually want to do this, so this will be helpful for later. You could probably guess what I'm up to then if you've ever played this game and know what he does. That's right. We are going before we end off this episode, we are going to continue the plot. I will meet you guys in Hyrule Castle. Or Hyrule Castle Market. 
And here we are, the Market Town. We are heading over to what that guard told us back two episodes ago. We are heading to the Temple of Time. Okay, I'm going to give you guys a fair warning. If there's anything else you feel like you have to do before moving on any further, now I will tell you to go and do it now. Because if you continue on past this point, you won't be able to return backwards for a while. So yeah. Okay then, I give you one final warning. If there is something you have not done, go and do it now. LP Maker, is it that? The Legendary Blade. The Master Sword. We are now here to claim that sword. Once we grab that sword, we are going to be stuck on a motion that will lead us forward up to a certain point. So this is your final warning to turn back. But as for us, I've gotten everything I wanted to do before moving on the plot. There is one piece of heart we could have grabbed, but it's not a huge necessity. We will grab it later. So let's do this. <laughs> Excellent work. As I thought, you held the keys to the door of time. You have led me straight to the gates of the sacred realm. Yes, I owe it all to you, kid. <laughs> Help me make her. Wake up, help me make her the chosen one. I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient spirits built the, the ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the Chamber of Sages, inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light is a uh, is stretched in the very center of the sacred realm. It's the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time was the final key to the sacred realm. LP Maker, don't be alarmed. Look at yourself. Alarmed. Wait, where'd those tights come from? 
or trousers, or whatever. I wasn't wearing them when I went to sleep. Look, LP Maker, you're big now. You've grown up. The Master Sword is the sacred blade that evil ones may never touch. The only one worthy of the title of the Hero of Time can pull the uh, pull it from the pedestal of time. However, you were too young to be the Hero of Time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. Now that you are old enough, the time has come for you to awaken as the Hero of Time. How many times has the word time been said? Well, do you understand your destiny? I suppose. But remember, though you opened the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter the realm, this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with it his power has become, he has become the Evil King, or King of Evil. His evil power radiates from the temples of Hyrule. For seven short years, he transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now only has little influence even in this secret realm. Namely, uh, this Chamber of Sages, but there is still hope. The power of the sages remain. When the power of the sages is awakened, the sages seal will contain the evil power in the void of the realm. I am I, Raru, am one of the sages and your power will <laughs> to fight the sages to make the hero of time. <laughs> the hero of time chosen by the master sword. Keep my spirit with you and find the power of the other sages and add their might to your own. You've received the light medallion. Raru, the sage, is, the sage has added... Add it adds his power to yours. God damn, I cannot talk. <laughs> Find the other sages and save Hyrule. I've been recording for like an hour and a half. <laughs> I haven't recorded this long in a while. <clears throat> Temple of Time. Happy Maker, we're back in the Temple of Time. But has seven years really passed? It looks like you won't be able to use some of the weapons you found as a kid anymore. Let's get out of here. I've been waiting for you, Hero of Time. When evil rules and an awakening voice from the sacred realm will call those destined to be sages who dwell within the five temples. One in a deep forest, one in a high mountain, one under a vast lake, one, under, one within the house of the dead, and one inside the goddess of the sand. Together with the Hero of Time, the awakened ones will blind the evil and return light of the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, the Sheikah. I am a Sheikah survivor of the... I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheikah. <laughs> As I see, you stand there holding the mythical Master Sword. You really do look like the legendary hero of time. If you believe the legend, you'll have no choice. But you have no choice. You must awaken, look for the five temples and awaken the five sages. One of the sages waiting, waiting for the time to awaken the forest temple. The sage is a girl I'm sure you know. Because of the evil power of the temple, evil power in the temple, she cannot hear the awakening call of the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you are, you cannot even enter the temple. But if you believe what I am saying, you should head to Kakariko Village. Do you understand, LP Maker? How do you know my name? Okay then, that is it. We've actually been 
Sealed to where he had awakened again seven years into the future, now holding the mythical Master Sword. So then, that will do for this episode. I hope you guys will join in the next episode. We'll do what Sheikah says and head over to Kakariko Village to hopefully figure out how to get to the temple. See you next time! I can't even use this in here. Damn it! Master Sword jump! Ah!